prophet Isaiah wrote about a time when the desert would rejoice and blossom as a rose. To Israelis, that's more than an ancient prophecy. It's a commandment. Israel is a tiny state. Look at a map of our region. We use always to joke, you know, there's not even enough place on, on the map to write the name of Israel. So we had to conserve it, to keep it, to maintain it. Uh, this is what we have. To the early settlers in Israel, going green meant planting trees. And they started in the Negev Desert a place that gets only one to seven inches of rain a year. In the 1940s, Jerusalem was still under Arab control, and Israel's first prime minister, David Ben-Gurion, believed that the Negev was the future of Israel. So he ordered the creation of a man-made forest there, but his team of scientists said it couldn't be done. Ben-Gurion's response? No problem, we'll get new scientists. The prime minister got his new scientists and the Negev desert began to blossom. Today, the Yatir forest has more than four million trees, including carob, pine, olive, and fig. Israel is amongst the fewest countries in the world that at the end of the 20th century, there are much more trees than were at the beginning of this century. Till now, we have planted over 240 million trees, which is a nice number to this small country. In the center of the forest is a vineyard, planted on the ruins of another one that existed here 2,000 years ago. Scientists researched the best plants to grow in the Negev, and one of their sources was the Bible. There are plenty of archaeological ruins everywhere water cisterns, uh, dams, uh, terraces, everywhere. And we have started with reconstruction of some of these ancient farms. We have planted biblical trees, and the trees are surviving without additional irrigation by collecting runoff water, the same systems that our forefathers did 2,000 years ago. The trees not only produce fruit, they also clean the environment by absorbing carbon dioxide. Studies show that planting similar forests on just 12% of the world's arid land would reduce carbon in the atmosphere by a gigaton a year. That's equal to the carbon output of a thousand coal plants. Today, scientists from around the world come to Israel to study the Yatir forest. We like to serve we are proud to serve all our achievements to other countries. And of course, we want to share our knowledge and study.